my channel. My name is Alexis. What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis Simone. I share healing advice and everything nice. So I am a new YouTuber. So go ahead and just hit that like subscribe button, please, so I can get this ball rolling because I'm tired of not being on YouTube. Anyways, uh, when I first started YouTube. I was doing tarot advice and everything nice and now it's healing advice and everything nice because I'm very spiritual. I love all things that are healing. I'm a yoga and meditation instructor, um, kind of a tarot card reader and this is why I say kind of. So when I first started YouTube, it was strictly uh, tarot reading. I read primarily for Pisces and I had to stop. Like I had to just, I, I needed a long, long break from tarot. So now my channel will be, as you saw in the intro, healing advice and everything nice. So anyways, let's get back to the matter at hand. Why I stopped tarot. Lord have mercy. Okay, so I still 100% like believe in tarot reading. I still go and I watch other YouTubers, you know, general videos. I haven't got a personal in a while. I don't, I don't want to get a personal anytime soon yet. And here's why. So I feel like if you're going to be a tarot reader, you need to have your emotions and your anxiety under control. And my anxiety is still, it still gets bad. It's something that I'm still working on. I'm still finding different techniques on how to control it. So when I was doing these reads, you know, it was very hard for me to use my discernment. I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of tarot readers won't even give you a reading if you're under the age of 26, because they say that you guys are very impressionable. Um, young people are just very gullible. They, they don't know how to use their own discernment under the age of 26 so far. So a lot of tarot readers won't read for you. Um, I started reading tarot and watching tarot at 23, mm -hmm. 23. So that that's a little yeah. young. I was still personable and stuff. So I was having trouble using my discernment. And then when I would watch general, general reads on YouTube, um, you know, it would be kind of comforting at the time. I was a loner. I'm hella introverted. Didn't really reach out to my friends. So I would always watch these videos and I'm like, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm going through. And it would like comfort me. And I'm like, okay, all these comments of people saying, oh yes, I'm going through this too. It was spot on, so accurate. I'm like, okay, so they understand how I feel. So it was kind of like a comfort. I used tarot as like a friend. Um, but also when I would read for other people and read for YouTube, it's like, you know, you pick up the energy through the cards and some of the time, most of the time, the energy would just be very heavy. And then I'd be walking around the rest of the day, not being able to like shake that feeling fast enough or you know just because I'm an overthinker I'd be like well does this message apply for me too but I'm like no 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 you know you you know take what resonates leave what doesn't if it don't apply let it fly there's millions of your sign so if you hear a general reading you got to understand like it's it's possibly not for me but I was getting so obsessed with it that I was having trouble you know disassociating the two, if that makes sense. Um, so basically, I would go to my cards for everything. After I would do a general on YouTube and everything, if I had a question, I wouldn't make a single move without consulting my tarot cards. Not a single move. Even if it says, oh, should I leave my job and accept this new job opportunity? Even if I know, like, I don't really want that job opportunity. I'd be like, let me see what Spirit has to say. You know, and it's it was just getting too much to where I, I felt like I wasn't standing on my own two feet anymore. I don't know if other tarot readers have the same issues, but I, like my cards, I would go to them for answers for like every single thing. And it, I felt like it kind of got unhealthy. So I went to spirit. I went outside one day and I like talked to spirits and like, you know, left them offerings. And I was like, I, I love you guys. I know you guys want me to stand on my own two feet. I know you guys want me to use my own discernment and practice that, use my own judgment. So I'm going to give this a break for a little bit. And like, I gotta, I gotta stop talking to you guys for a while. Like I'll still pray, but like, I can't be all in these cards right now because it's t like, it's literally becoming my life. You know, and I was, I just felt like it was getting a little bit unhealthy. Um, I started to have friends and even strangers reach out to me, like through my social media. And they would always be like, oh, I'm so depressed. I'm having so such bad anxiety. Can you give me a reading? And I'd be like, a, but a read for what? Like, what exactly are you trying to, what answers do you want? What are you, what are you looking for? I don't know. I don't know. I just need answers. I don't know. I just need an alignment reading. I need, I need this. I'm just having such bad anxiety and depression. 
but now it's like, but if I give you a read when you're having anxiety and depression and I'm suffering from anxiety already on my own and I'm such an empath, I don't want to read for you when you're in that state and then I take on all of that too. And it just got too much and I had to tell everybody like, look, y'all, I'm putting the cards away for a while. So that is pretty much why I, I stopped and I just, I wanted to continue my spiritual journey just not the tarot journey and every single time i would get a reading a personal read from a tarot reader they would stop and they would look at the cards and they would be like oh my god you're a tarot reader like why are you coming to me i can see here like you're a tarot reader and i'd be like yeah i am but i have trouble trusting myself so i need you to read and they're like you read for yourself perfectly fine and i think after they confirmed that that's when i really just started going to my cards for every little thing um but now i'm doing once again for the 50th million time healing advice and everything nice so if that's something that you guys want to follow if that's something that is of interest to you guys just keep uh looking out for videos i have videos that are coming out weekly and i'm excited i'm trying a bunch of different techniques thank y'all i know i'm talking too much i just wanted to get that out there maybe you guys can relate if you're a tarot reader and have to take a break maybe if you're a pisces because i heard a lot of pisces in 2021 were moving away from uh spirituality just a little bit so Thank y'all for watching my channel and y'all have a nice day. I need to practice my outros for real.